Ensure that a Lexan shield is present. Ensure that the tabletop is clean. The grinder and finishing heads must be in good condition. The exhaust system must be functional. And the grit bucket under the filter must be empty and the filter must be in good condition. When using the machine, CSA approved safety goggles must be worn at all times if the Lexan shield cannot be used because it does not allow for a good visual, that is, it is damaged, scratched, etc., and or if the employee is not tall enough to look through the Lexan shield. The dressing of the grinding wheel should be done as needed if there is a decrease in its efficiency. To do this, move the arm on the right side of the wheel to the front. Place the diamond so that it is near the wheel, but without touching it. Screw the arm in place. Start the exhaust system and the grinder. Gradually move the lever up and down. Before moving the lever upwards, turn the diamond a quarter turn clockwise. Gradually move the lever down and up. Before moving the arm downwards, turn the diamond one quarter turn clockwise. Once the grinder wheel is smooth and the ends well rounded, unscrew the arm and replace it on the side of the wheel. Be sure to screw the arm in place so as not to damage the diamond. Choose the desired concavity and advance the diamond near the finishing wheel. When the diamond tip touches the finishing wheel, pull the arm back slightly. Start the exhaust system and finishing wheel and slowly advance the diamond near the wheel until there is contact. Move the diamond arm up, then lower the arm of the diamond. Before raising the arm, turn the diamond ring a quarter turn clockwise. Move the diamond arm up and then down. Before raising the arm, turn the diamond ring a quarter turn clockwise. Make sure the diamond has made a contact on the entire surface of the finishing wheel. After having used the diamond, move the diamond quill back to avoid damaging the tip and then place the arm back on top. Place the skates so that the toes are on the right side of the skate holder and the heel on the left side. Put the clamp post on the post, tighten the screw, and place the lever vertically. To always have the same amount of pressure on the blade, the lever must always be vertical. It is therefore necessary to make the adjustment on the screw and not on the lever. Pass the skate on the grinding wheel, making sure that the point of contact is always in the center of it. One pass is usually sufficient. This one must be done at a constant speed. If the first pass has removed 80% of the original sharpening, there is no need to pass a second time. To check the blade, tilt the skate holder outward, placing one hand on the lever and one hand on the table. By tilting the skate holder, there is less risk of moving the skate. Gently touch the finishing wheel with the front of the blade and then with the back and confirm that the notches are centered on the blade. Check both notches by tilting the skate holder. To sharpen the part of the blade that will be in contact with the ice, use the principle of a watch dial, that is 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Start at 5 o'clock. The curve of the blade and the curve of the finishing wheel are almost identical. Continue in a straight line at 6 o'clock. Finish following the curve of the blade and the curve of the finishing wheel at 7 o'clock. Use a constant speed when sharpening. Whether the speed is slow or fast, there will be no impact on the sharpening as long as the speed used is constant. Check the blade by tilting the skate holder.
It should be noted that there is no limit to how many times you will need to sharpen the skate on a finishing wheel. What is important is that the sharpening is leveled on the entire blade. When the desired concavity has been obtained, apply the finishing oil for the last pass. The last pass will be done slowly, always at a constant speed. Before removing the skate from the skate holder, place the magnetic square edge indicator on the blade to verify that the edges are level. Remove the skate from the skate holder, wipe the blade, and pass a deburring stone at an angle on the blade from front to back. Checking if the edges are level can also be done after the skate is removed from the skate holder. To make it easier for a new employee to know when to stop passing the blade on the finishing wheel, once the blade has been grinded, take a black marker and mark the section of the blade that will be sharpened from front to back. Follow the steps for sharpening respecting the principle of the watch dial, that is 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Check the blade by tilting the skate holder. When the black of the marker is no longer apparent, the employee will simply pass two more times and then apply the finishing oil before making the final pass.